Friends, it is good to see you safe and well. I will admit I had not counted on you seeking, let alone finding refuge within the Holy See, but full glad was I to learn that you had. Thankfully, we had allies there who took us under their wing. And theirs was not the only aid we receive, I suspect. When we fled Uldar, we fully expected to become wanted men, known to all and hounded at every turn. Yet that did not come to pass. On the contrary, it would seem the charges against us have not been made public. Might we have you to thank for that, Admiral? Sharp as ever, Master Elfino. On Marshal Terrapin's urging, the Elder Seed Seer and I demanded that the Syndicate suppress news of the Scion's alleged crimes until such time as irrefutable evidence could be found. Our argument was simple. Lacking proof to accuse the saviors of the realm of so unlikely a crime would have the people up in arms. In their wisdom, the Syndicate agreed, as you yourself have seen. There is something you should know. Some few days prior to the banquet, the Elder Seedseer and I were summoned for a private audience with the Sultana. There, she revealed her intent to announce her abdication, that she might pave the way for the establishment of an Uldan Republic. What? But such an announcement would have plunged the entire nation into chaos. She was well aware of that. It was for fear of what might ensue that she summoned us. Her Grace wanted the Elder Seed Seer and I to lend Rauban a helping hand, you see? To aid him in preserving the peace during the transition. So, having somehow caught wind of her plan, Lollarito and Teleji plotted the Sultana's assassination in the hope of maintaining the constitutional status quo. But they must have known that her death would sow as much chaos as her abdication. Chaos from which Teleji alone might feasibly stand to profit. Surely Lollarito would never knowingly... Ah, could it be? I dare not hope. The Uldan authorities have yet to announce the Sultana's passing. To allay any suspicion that may arise from Her Grace's absence, they have issued a statement to the effect that she is presently convalescing from illness. Mayhap they're waiting for a fitting moment to break the news, or mayhap they know of some other reason to delay. Something else has been bothering me, Admiral. I was dismayed to learn that General Raoban is to be executed. Yet upon hearing the news, I could not help but wonder why he had been kept alive for so long. Pray mistake not my meaning. I am, of course, overjoyed that our friend still draws breath, and that he might yet be saved. But if his enemies truly wished to eliminate him, they could have done so immediately. I see no reason for this delay. Aye. You've struck upon an important point, Master Alphano. Following his capture, Raoban had been held in the Marasaja pit within Uldar. In recent days, however, he has reportedly been moved to an unknown location. Queerly, it was not the Brass Blades who spirited him away either, but a band of soldiers decked in blue. The Crystal Braves. Aye. If I read the winds aright, the arrangement between Lord Lollarito and the Braves has come under strain. At any rate, if we're to rescue Raoban, we'll have to find him first. And you'll be glad to hear that I have already entrusted the task to those best able to see it done. Our friends of Doma.
Give me my lateness. Lady Ugiri! Master Alphano, I am pleased to see that the light of resolve shines in your eyes once more. Ah, yes. How pathetic I must have seemed to you when we last met. I am ashamed to recall it. For a time I was well and truly lost. But with the aid of my comrades, I have since refound my purpose and I shall take care not to misplace it again. Since your escape from Ulda, my fellow Shinobi and I have shadowed the Crystal Braves every step, in hopes of learning the Scion's whereabouts. Regrettably, our investigation has yet to yield any useful information. Pray, forgive us. You need not apologize, my lady. We are grateful for all that you have done on our behalf. Besides, Ralban is no less a friend, and we cannot well abandon him to his fate. Hosan, the three of us shall attend to the Flame General's rescue. Pray, draw away the guards by the entrance. Take Doware and Higiri with you. With me!
to me!
It is nothing. Limb from limb! This changes nothing. It is over, Ilbert. Lay down your arms and surrender yourself to justice. Justice? Justice for what exactly? Twas not I who assassinated the Sultana, boy. Ere we debate who is responsible for the assassination, I would ask whether an assassination took place at all. Of a little shite. If you think you fight for justice, lad, you'd best wake up. The truth is, you fight for whoever bloody well tells you to. Can you not see you're being used by the Scions, the City States, even the Crystal Braves? They none of them care a whit what you want, only what you can do for them. And how do I know this? Because I'm the same. A pawn to be used as my master's see fit. All I ever wanted was to liberate my homeland. And I ate dirt to make it happen. But what have I achieved after all these years in servitude? Nothing. Not a bloody thing. If we ourselves are not free, free to think and to act, how are we ever to reclaim our own land? Know this. There is nothing I would not give to take back Alamigo. Nothing! You'll not get away! No, Master Alphano. Now is not the time. I'm but a cripple and a fool. And still you came for me. I'm in your debt. We are all of us fools of fate, General. But even fools have a part to play. Rest assured, I was not planning to die till I'd avenged the Sultana. Still, your words are welcome, lad. Know this, Ilbert. There is nothing I would not give to see you pay for what you've done. My wealth, my arm, my life. Nothing. General, are you aware that Lord Lollorito has yet to announce the Sultana's death to the public? What? No. No, I was not aware of that, nor of anything else outside my cell. 
is passing strange, though. I assumed the bastard would make it known at the first opportunity, and set about tearing down the Sultanate. As did we all. And it is indeed strange that he did not. Strange, or perhaps revealing. Now, I have no conclusive proof, nor do I wish to give you false hope. But I have reason to believe that her grace may yet live. What? But how can that be? Forgive me, friends, but it is not safe here. Let us continue this conversation without... My dearest friends, praise be unto the Twelve for delivering you from the clutches of treachery. Father! Pippin! My son! And Master Papashan besides! Forgive me, Father. I should have been at Her Grace's side. Save your tears. The Sultana yet lives. You! It was I who arranged this gathering. And judging by your perplexed expressions, it would seem introductions are in order. I am Dulala, head of the Order of Noldthor, and member of the Syndicate. What you said about the Sultana, is it true? Is she alive? Young man, I understand you were with the Sultana when she drank from the poisoned goblet and collapsed. Would I be correct in assuming that you did not personally verify Her Grace's vital signs? Why ask when tis plain you know the answer? Calm yourself, General. And let me finish. The truth is not as you imagine it. You are all victims of a most ingenious ruse. 
A ruse conceived to eliminate the threat posed by Teleji Adeleji. Tis my belief that Teleji plotted the Sultana's assassination alone, but that Lollarito caught wind of his plot and exploited it to his own ends. He sought to manipulate you into eliminating Teleji for him, and you duly obliged. At one fell swoop, he removed his two foremost rivals, all the while remaining above suspicion. God strike me down for a fool. But the Sultana, how can it be that she lives? She lives because Lollarito willed it. Her own lady-in-waiting is but one of his many little birds. By her sleight of hand, the poison was switched for a less deadly draught before it could reach her mistress's lips. Some manner of sedative, perchance, of a potency sufficient to induce a slumber like unto death. Were I to guess, I would say her grace is being held somewhere, dreaming dreams of a brighter Uldar, even as we speak. Oh, none more. I will never forgive Lolorito for his part in this. Though Lolorito's hands are far from clean, they did pluck her grace from the jaws of death. That must count for something. And though one may call the man's methods into question, it cannot be denied that he knows the value of stability, to the very gill like as not. He craves power, tis true, but he has no desire to depose the Sultana. I had never taken sides in your feud with the monetarists, but it was not for want of concern for our nation's welfare. Indeed, t'was out of the desire to see order restored that I furnished your Far Eastern friends with information and arranged this gathering. I hope you are ready to work, General, for there is much work to be done. Our first priority must be to bring matters back into balance. Lest you forget Her Grace's words, the true wealth of Uldar lies in the health, happiness and hopes of her people. As for the more worldly kind of wealth, I am content to let Lolorito help himself to whatever Teleji Adeleji left behind. You, meanwhile, must do that which you alone can do. Rescue her grace and take your place at her side once more, for her sake and that of our nation. <laughs>